You'll need some kind of paper to draw on, a pencil, and the eraser is always handy. Too. Uh, these directions here can be found on our website. All right, so let's begin. Step number one is to draw a triangle with rounded corners and bulging sides. So I'm gonna start over here, and come out a little bit, and then back in, curve around my corner, out a little, back in, come back this way, out a little bit, and then I'm coming back in and rounding this corner and meeting this line. All right, so step one. Step number two, we're going to attach a smiley, smiling mouth right here. So we got the top lip and then the bottom lip. See I'm attaching it way over here in the corner. I'm following following this shape that I made with the triangle, the bulging triangle. So I'm not attaching this here. And I'm going to bring this back down and then meet all the way over here. Okay, so it looks kind of like an open mouth. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add two wavy lines, one on top of the other in between the mouth here. Okay, now the next step is to add the rings on the clam. And as you can see, this would be the way the clam would be held. Um, these rings over here appear to be much closer together, tighter than they do on this way. So it kind of gives you that rounded distance effect. So we're gonna keep them further apart up here and closer together on this side. We're gonna start here so we can follow this contour line, the, sh the shape here. And as we get closer to the top, this side over here is gonna get closer to the other. There you have it, there's your clam. So you can stop here if you'd like or you can continue on and you can add some shading and highlights and give it a little bit more depth and carry on. Have some fun. While you're doing it, you can think about all those different ways that you can make clams. Steamed clams, baked clams, barbecued clams, fried clams, clam pie. What else? What else we got? Clam fritters. Um, clam dip. Clams in the half shell. So I'm just going to go ahead in here and I'm going to start shading. I'm actually going to shade up this side. So I'm going to go down each ring. I'm going to add a little um, shadow on this side and then I'm going to make a dark line where the ring is. Like this, add a little bit of shading here, bring it around a little bit. And as you go along you could fix these um, these rings to make them more in, in line with each other if you need to. And your finger is a great blending tool. So I'm just gonna go work my way from one to the next. I'm going to work my way from the top of the clam down toward the mouth, working one ring at a time, adding in heavier lines and then adding in some shading on the sides of the clam. Use your eraser to add highlights. go back through and add in some more rings, applying more pressure to your pencil to make darker lines.
so again I'm going to go through and add more rings, shading and highlights with my eraser. Okay, so now let's shade in the gaps inside the mantle. This is going to give it a sense of depth. go around and use my eraser to clean up the edges and just add in a little bit more highlighting. Again, I'm going to go back in and go around and sharpen up some of my rings, clean up things a bit. And I'm going to add in lots of thin, light rings in between all of the other rings. Oh my goodness, so many rings. I'm going to go back in again and sharpen things up. Linguine and clam sauce. Manhattan chowder. New England chowder, clam pizza, clam toast, beer steamed clams, one of my favorite, clam empanadas, tomato bouillabaisse with clams, how about clams casino, mmm, yummy yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> 